Okay. Dave. Good morning. Can you hear me okay? Yep. Um, next week, there is an ADD interim meeting, which I need to be at. Um, and so I can't, I sent the calendar thing that's saying that next week was canceled. Uh, I'm happy to pick another day or a later time. Um, but I kind of hope we might get through the three open pull requests and be done. Hi, Ned. Ned here, can you hear me? Yep. Hi, Ned. Yep. Hey, what's going? It's a nice, uh, interesting, uh, is that actually where you are, or is that just some background you're transmitting? Oh, background. I should turn my camera off. It's a very pretty looking conference room. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish it were I, mine. I I I I haven't been in a conference room in months, right? Yeah. Running out of hotel pens. I have to buy them. I think I could choose the uh, tropical island background too. Better. Okay, so we got Thomas and Peter, Michael, Andrew, Dave, Deary, Hank. Ned, Peter, Thomas, and Way. That is 10 people. I'm missing Hank in my list. Yeah, hi, this is Hank. Uh, this is a big room, uh, considering this is close to Labor Day week. Well, it's Tuesday. Everyone's going back to school. Right. He doesn't start school till Friday. He's going to have four hours in one class. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, my, my uh, um, biggest son is now in fifth grade and just went to, got, got to new school and uh, they have a 20 pupil class, which is quite oh. small for Germany. That's cool. That's ah, sorry, lovely. but I'm not. All right, so let's start. So we have uh, three open pull requests plus this one where I, it's not really me just restructuring the YAML to uh, make the contributors, list of contributors uh, structured. Um, so if I get that working, I think it was an XML to RFC issue, then I hope there'll be no objection to doing changing that around. Um, I wanna go to the one that is the oldest which is this one, description, more descriptions of endorsements, where aside from a little bit of editing, we appear to be having a bit of a period war. I think it's in that one, or that's a 90, 94. That's a 94. I'll come back to that. Um, so I don't know who has seen this one lately. Uh let me see, I think I kind of feel like I want to make the screen smaller so that it all fits in the same thing. Is that okay? Do you want me to make the whole window smaller? That's fine. The fewer this, bits I transmit, the bigger it is on your screen. That's what I learned. Okay, this so. Improving it, thank you. So Dave, I stole the same objection as before to this text. I don't think it's in required. Um, so I don't know how to resolve this at this point.
Lawrence is not on this call. Yeah, Lawrence is not on the call, but uh, my position is this PR doesn't need to be accepted. Okay. So um, we've come back and forth on this several times. Can, as a group, can we accept that point? I think, Ned, you had – and maybe I'm confusing it with a different one, but uh, I think Ned had similar issues. Yeah, uh, and I was trying to follow it. A lot of it was outdated commentary, but I think, think in what the proposed new text doesn't say the same things as the old text. The old text was saying things that were reasonable, so it's just trying to change too much. Okay, I'm in a mark. We have had other – pull requests from uh, Lawrence who are better. What I don't know is if anything that he was thinking on this one, was it already covered in some later one or not? All right, let's close it. I'm happy to close this and move on. Uh, revise, I guess that's supposed to say revise. <laughs> My browser is very slow, despite having restarted many things. I don't know why yet. Um, oh, sorry. Are we at the different PR right now? Thank different you. Different PR I now, was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like, why are we closing the other day? But that's thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there is uh, some changes here about PI um, suggestion. I don't quite, I, I don't understand we're deleting so much text, but I guess some of right. it comes back. Um, yeah, and I, uh, we, I thought we had a... Go ahead, Ted. Go ahead, Ned. I was going to say, I thought that we moved a bunch of text to privacy considerations, but it looks like that this is the privacy consideration section. So Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so I think that we dealt with part of the, uh, of a PR before that may have moved some text around, um, but that's about it. Uh, and I also kind of wish Lawrence had acted on some of these suggestions that people made. Um, like he can accept these suggestions and and solve the problem, I guess. Right, the friendly amendment um, is accepted. Um, right. This one had feedback a long time ago, and then there yeah, was never any, never anything. Right. Right. So, um, do do you want to leave it open, or do you want to, to uh, ask for a revision or something? I can't I even so I mean, remember if there was exemplary changes here, and I yeah. think they have to be done thoroughly. I, I mean, this is exemplary what I did. I did not try to fix everything; only the yeah. that, that, that uh, stand out was standing out and and now i think we have yeah it's hard to deal with this pr because i would rewrite it and i'm at a loss how to fix it with changes in text that are not only uh, editorial yeah so, 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 hank, hank would you rewrite the pr or would you rewrite the privacy consideration section or both which do you mean i don't I, I, I agree with some of the content of the PR. I think it's very PII centric now, and that is maybe not uh, to the point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, because I think something, yeah, it, it's different. It's difficult for me to, uh, I, I would say I, I agree with having some portions of the idea here, uh, but not in the way it's framed right now. And that is going beyond editorial changes, I, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Fair enough. I, I guess I didn't see, I didn't understand what was wrong with the older text. Yeah, you see, I said the same thing right at the top of Michael's screen. I yeah. also think the original text at the top needs to stay. There's some tweak, there's some, I mean, there's some cleanup that could be done in that text. But it's, it seems like all the commentary is assuming that the, the, the deletion of the text was okay and then Spends a lot of time. Okay, let's move on. Yeah. Okay. So this is where the period war is. Um, I, I waited on the period war. You waited on it. I I just waited on it like two minutes ago. Um, yeah. You reference RFC forty nine forty nine. Forty nine forty one uses periods. Follow precedent. Done. We don't have to argue about it. IDTF already did. 
Yeah, I was going to say about... that I, this is like I would have left the RFC editor to to worry about this yeah, myself. Yeah. Maybe, it, maybe that's above my pay grade. I, yeah, <laughs> that is true. I, we, we all don't know how this works. If the IETF wants to finish a sentence, uh, not a sentence with a period which is broken, uh, that's fine. But I don't agree with this on a semantic uh, language level. Sentences have to be sentences. If it's not a sentence, it doesn't be, get a period. It's not rewarded to that one. Well, in that uh, case, that would refer you to uh, Miriam-Webster.com, which uses the, yeah. the same convention of having periods yeah. at the end. I mean, any of the online dictionaries that um, is it Miriam Webster is one of the two that I had checked. Um, so, yeah. so this should have a period. Oh, yeah. This period, we're all in agreed with this period. Of course. But okay, what about the rest we, of the text? I didn't see. I didn't see where you were. So that period there, but there's an, a part, yeah. another part of the change here that. Um, um, yes, and what you'll notice that uh, if you don't put a period before the word compare, then it looks like it's a run on sentence because there's a period at the end where it would be inc grammatically incorrect. So you have to have yeah, a period before the beginning of a new sentence, right? So if you have of a course, period at the end, is because conceptually in a dictionary, it is a blah is and so on. And so the colon is yeah. like the termination of the is of the when you read it out loud. You know, a okay. appraisal policy for evidence is a set of rules, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that that's how you read that. So, so, and so that's so, why there's periods at the end. So Hank's suggestion here effectively <laughs> puts back a bunch of text that was read out. Maybe it merges yeah. them together. Otherwise, uh, aside from the period, which I think we've just agreed, we all agree with, um, is, is this this is better? This is a good suggestion. You, you, you're just reverting it, and uh, right? Oh, no, you have a different thing because you have an eg in there. It's a bit more than reverting. Let 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 me I, commit the suggestion, and then we can this. see the new and old as as. Yeah, uh, but, but I can comment on this. So uh, Ned made a proposal. Lawrence agreed with it. I would agree with it. So I made it, it literally took Lawrence's advice, merged it yep. to Ned's second option, and that's the result here. Okay. So I want to commit this so that we can see what the change is okay. against the old text and that we could revert that commit if we have to. Okay. okay. Uh, by, oh, on, commit, by, by, by committing it, that you're saying, Let's agree that uh, that text is better than Lawrence's because this will lose Lawrence's, right? Yes, that's right. But then let's we can decide whether the text is better than the original and easier now. Okay. All right. I think. Right. That will. Well, maybe that's what it's in front of us right now. I said it. No. Okay. Uh, uh, it, before you do that, let's just say I'm trying to read that because. Um, Uh, I have a negative reaction to the use of informs intransitively. Well, uh, I, what I'm suggesting is that yeah. we, we we take a step forward to see this, and then clicking, and now <laughs> we see this change here. So informs how. Okay. And okay, that's gotcha. a verifier no. regarding the appraisal of the evidence. Yeah, now it's transitive. I, I, I removed my negative reaction. Go ahead. Right. That's what I thought is that once we saw, yeah. I couldn't parse uh, it all together either. This is just a period, removing a period. Um, I, I'm looking at the EG as to whether I like the EG or not. Up here, this EG. Okay. We're still there. Come on. Um, Hank, why did you delete the word how? Uh, sorry, uh, when you said so, you changed basically how to regarding, and in, in other words, informs a verifier regarding the appraisal as opposed to how to appraise. I just copied from Net Comments, so okay. um, I um, think I have to refer that to Net. <laughs> in that phrase, I would prefer how to appraise. Um, regarding it makes it sound like you can do it however you want i'm just going to give you some information that may be relevant whereas the eg is actually an instruction on how to do so and so it doesn't quite match the regarding the appraisal it's actually how to appraise in your eg
I don't feel strongly. Because right, if you look at uh, like look at line one forty, a set of rules that direct how a relying party uses. Let us see where's the word how, which is not changed. I would like a uh, closer symmetry. Now, you can leave informs verifier. That's fine. Instead of regarding the appraisal, change uh, regarding the appraisal to how to appraise. Or perhaps, uh, yeah, that's okay. How to appraise. Um, or, uh, okay, so here's what's interesting. If you look at the red text and then look at 140, you can see the nice symmetry almost of then evaluates versus uses is not. Uh, 136 and 140 used to be a lot more symmetric, and now they're not. Yeah. yeah. Set of rules that informs the ver a verifier or the verifier? Uh, a verifier. This is in the and definition. Maybe, yeah, maybe also just evidence and not the evidence. Ah, yeah, I agree with you. <laughs> why is it? Why is little Indian? I understand the word little Indian and big Indian. I don't, I don't I understand just, why is that. Complexity. Wow. It's, it's arbitrary complexity for an example, so that so that everybody <clears throat> sees this is an example, not not something generic uh, hidden in an example. <clears throat> well, it's but a it, it's pretty simplistic, right? Because there's no uh, notion of certificate expiration. There's no notion of please check the signature to see whether it's in the trust anchor list. I think it's overly simplistic because it would ignore things okay. that would generally be required. And and I think people will be like, what? Why is Indianness issue here? Like, yeah. you know, like, because is this protocol not compatible is... around Indianness or something. So, yeah. so I get what what you're trying to do, Hank, is you're trying to get a give a the simplistic form of instruction with a slight variation. Um, uh, I think I have more problems with the EG than than uh, things that I like about it. So I would tend to remove the EG, the whole EG. Yep. So period here, meaning I'm closer to where what the text was in red that's being changed away from. I keep it closer to the original red because uh, I'm not trying. I'm not sure yeah, what was, this, what Lawrence is trying to fix. Yeah, Lawrence wants to have the phrase reference values in here as a uh, um, keyword that people trigger on, and to, uh, okay. uh, to, to okay. increase intuitiveness. Oh, could we remove uh, just how could we just say compare claims with reference value? Yes, of course you it, can. Not with a not with the meaning of EG, which implies that this is the complete appraisal policy. Okay. Now I think what the I intent e is this is one of many rules. If that was the intent, I would agree with that intent, but that's not yeah. how it reads right now. Okay, it's one of many rules. Could should we say i.e., for example, um, my, you could say, for example, one such rule might be. Right, because it's defined as a set of rules, and the example is an example of one rule. That that I don't have it yeah. negative. It's like I said, you'd. Uh, I would expect it to always be such that uh, please check the signature against the trust anchor list. Yeah, the, the signing key against the trust anchor list to make sure that it changed to it. All right. Otherwise, I think you can't evaluate the, the claims. It doesn't matter whether the claims that match if it's not signed by somebody you trust. It doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. Well, well, uh, um, well, the rules might not be signed, but the evidence is the point, I think. Cor correct. Yeah, right. yeah. The thing that the claims come in, it's not useful to do the do the uh, compare of the, against the reference values if it's not signed by somebody you trust. So yes, I'm talking about the evidence. Right. And then another example is if it's not fresh, ignore it. I'm I'm almost wondering if less is more here because there's so many. Yeah. There's that so many. Yeah. I uh, that's why I would have deleted the for example in the first place is because there's so many things that you might say and. Uh, and all, all of them are. All, all of them should be are relevant and should be described somewhere. But definition. 
Not in the short I definition. Think that's a I tend to agree. I tend to agree here, yeah, but yeah. then we cannot uh, just re maybe we can rule on uh, uh, Lawrence's uh, uh, proposal in his absence, but that is um, a little bit difficult, I think. But we define we define evidence. Place to do it. <clears throat> yeah, but we define evidence as a set of we define. So if I understand, Lawrence, Lawrence wanted to somehow in, in, integrate the words reference values. Right, we, but we define um, endorsements in terms of reference value terminology already, right? What if we said um, these rules often include comparisons against reference values? But they don't. We're we're confusing we're confusing the appraisal policy with the the um, endorsement and evidence matching uh the endorsement is the thing that does not necessarily include reference values in fact i would say by definition it doesn't you may often convey endorsements along with reference values but they're not part of the endorsement the endorsement is one key that signs another key uh i disagree uh, i i think there's different options but the the point is here is that because right, you may get your reference values from somebody completely different from the appraiser all right from the endorser i mean so, so that's why we're not saying the word endorsement here or where the reference values, but reference right. values are involved in appraisal policy for evidence. Um, the rule for how you use them. So that's why what yes. Hank said is, is it doesn't say that the, like if you look at Hank's phrasing here, right? This doesn't say that you got the reference value. It doesn't say where you got them from, whether right. they were part of the policy, part of endorsements, part of some third, yes. th third thing. It just says the rule is to. So that's why... You know, that is a fine example of a rule. Whether we put it here or whether we put it elsewhere, like Ned was saying. Okay, I, I understand why Lawrence wants to put it here. He wants people who look for reference values to, to come to recognize that that's part of appraisal policy. Um, and I'm not willing to die on this hill. Um, yeah, so I, I think I disagree with our understanding for what endorsements are is what Dave just said. Take on Lawrence's role, he would agree with your disagreement. I think Lawrence wants, um, wants a loose definition of endorsements to encompass, for example, blobs of signed reference values that can are provided by a, not the, endorser role. Yeah, I would disagree with that. Yeah, still. Just again, always, I have no problem with saying endorsements may be conveyed together with things, which is basically two conceptual pieces of information that might be conveyed in the same protocol message. Then this architecture misses the definition of that other message type. That is part of that is part of Lawrence's point, and he actually had a request, or maybe it was his email to the list that he was actually suggesting uh, actually adding that. And I would not object to that if we want to go in that direction. But I think, yeah, I think that was a message that Lawrence sent to the list last week. Oh. And we, I think we're all in agree for the solution, but there is none yet. Okay. Well, I don't know if we're going to agree with the solution. It sounds like we may not be. But... Yeah, maybe. Um, um, but so... I'm just saying that the, I'm pretty sure it was a message that Lawrence sent to the list last week, because I know that I read it and it was from Lawrence, and I don't see it in the pull requests. Um, where was it? <laughs> Lawrence did not write emails to the list for a long time. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so our current definition for endorsement Mm -hmm. is a secure statement from that some entity typically a manufacturer vouches for the integrity of an attester signing capability. So yes, I agree with that definition. And I so I agree that that's part of an endorsement, but an endorsement may also include claims that are reference values. We don't say that here. That's because we never agreed on that statement. Yeah. So we should agree. We should we should have that conversation. It may be conveyed with. I agree. 
We don't define re reference values as a separate thing, though, however. That was Lawrence's point that he wanted something that would explain yeah. where references values are. That's right. And so my my proposal is that endorsements should also include reference values. And do people disagree with that? Yes, because you can provide you can have an entity that provides reference values without um, providing anything that meets their definition of endorsement that's stated in there. You well, we're changing a, we're changing the definition. A, I'm saying we change the definition of endorsement to include reference values. No, what I'm saying is yeah, I disagree with that. Um, right now, there's two different things, right? There's the statement that you're vouching for the integrity of an attester, and so that's the one that I had just rephrased for purposes of conversation here. That uh, it's the endorser's key is vouching for the integrity of the attester's key, right? That's the one part. Okay. There's another part that says, what are the reference values? What I'm saying is that you can get either of those two things without the other one, meaning you can have two different sources. If you change the definition to say it may include, that implies that all providers of reference values also uh, provide information about the validity of the tester key. And I'm saying that part is not true. You can get reference values from a source that is not vouching for your key. It's just vouching for the reference values. That's why it's a separate conceptual message or can be a separate conceptual message. Can be conveyed in the same physical I message. I that point of view. That was Peter. <clears throat> that was Peter, right? Okay, so yeah. we were looking but, for a different a different place to put the word reference values in, other than here. So yeah. I I suggest we it could create show a brand up, new entry. Could show up in a different in more than one place. First of all, so I guess the question but, is: Is there a strong objection to having it in this place? Yes, Peter. What were you going to say? Well, I was just saying I, I agree with that point of view. The endorsement yeah. is a different idea. In, in fact, the, I think it's wrong to think about. Um, a requirement of um, uh, reference values, period, because not all appraisals will require a comparison of reference values. There's other kinds of things that you can include as in claims that might need to be verified that don't require you to, to check against some known set of good. Yeah, I agree with Peter. Um, I, so Peter, would you be okay? If, I'm trying to, because it sounds like you and I might be aligned on these things. What if we were to add another definition that was uh, reference values, basically another conceptual message. And to your point, that conceptual message might not always exist, okay? But uh, it's separate from these other conceptual messages. Would you and I be aligned on that? Yes, yeah. I, I think so. Because right, okay. you, you could so, include it along with, uh, as part of the actual so, attestation. It's not the way I generally think about it, but I don't have any problem with somebody wanting to do it that way. Okay. Would you? Would you be? So you're going to write a, a pull request to do that. Would your? Could your pull request remove this sentence um, at that point? I, 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 I think I mentioned before. I have trouble right now. I don't have yet organizational uh, approval to do uh, do that. So, no, fine, I, I, I understand that. If Peter and I are aligned, if Peter and I are aligned, that I could potentially author the pull request on Peter's yes. behalf. I just wanted to verify whether Peter and I would be saying the same thing. So otherwise, who, who, yeah, who, I think who, I think we are. Right? Okay. Great. Who sends the reference measurements and who receives the reference measurements? The verifier receives them, and who sends them they, they is... May be a... oh, go ahead. I was going to say that they, they may have been integrated into the system. They may be fixed right, uh, and, and built in. There, there are people I know that are deploying these kind of systems that have that kind of stuff built into the system, and they're, and they're not part of the act, active um, attestation at all. You mean built so into the verifier? Require them. The verifier, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So the verifier so, comes with reference values built in, is what you're saying. Right, and and they have been obtained out of band somehow when they integrate them in. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you could imagine a verifier that gets them in real time from some other place, and you can imagine this case where they are presented in a trustworthy way along with the claims. All three of those would be valid ways to do it, but to prescribe that you have to do it one, one way is wrong. Ooh, we're not. Yep. We're, we're, we, we purposely chose the word convey as opposed to protocol or some other word yep. because convey is, is simply saying that the information convey somehow convey. gets there. And if it gets there by, you know, by uh, squirrels and, and, you know, <laughs> whatever, it got there. That was the conveyance mechanism. Right. And so we're not trying to prescribe a particular protocol for conveyance. 
but the point is, is that the point that the architecture wants to focus on is the entity that's most authoritatively, uh, you know, ma ma making the reference claims. So if it's the manufacturer is the one who's most authoritative about what it's supposed to be as a reference claim, then that's how we've defined endorser. Yeah, so by analogy, oh, by the way, I see Tolka is online. Hi, Tolka. Um, the way that we define, yeah, uh, I don't know if other people have met you yet, so I don't know if you want to introduce yourself briefly. Have a few met Tolka? Yeah, sure. Hey, everyone. I I think Okay. But, uh, it's all right. I think I may know some of you. It's all right. I'm, I'm at Microsoft. I work on um, Azure Sphere security. Azure Sphere is one of the IO3 things, and we do attestation all over the place. So Dave and I have been talking about this. So here I am, and I started reviewing the uh, ID, but I'm not entirely done yet. So thanks, Dave, for inviting me. That's very useful so far. Cool. Thanks for being here, and we'd love to have your input if you have opinions on these things. Sure. Yeah. So what I was uh, saying is the way that we have defined uh, endorsement, this is from memory, so maybe you can bring it up. Um, the way that we've defined endorsement is, sorry, the way that we've defined endorser and endorsement and is, a, is an endorser is just somebody who sends an endorsement. So an endorser is somebody typically a manufacturer, I think is the phrase, typically a manufacturer that sends an endorsement. I can, I can read it for you. An Go entity, ahead. typically yep. a manufacturer whose endorsements help verifiers appraise the authenticity of evidence. Okay, thank you. Um, so the point is the endorser is not defined as a manufacturer, it's defined as the entity that sends the endorsement and that is typically a manufacturer. We can define reference values or whatever the message name that we wanna use for reference values as being um, uh, reference yeah. values could be something like um, it, 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 you know, um, expected values of claims, um, sorry, the re a sender of reference values. I'm trying to answer your question. Um, yeah. uh, who sends reference values? Uh, yeah. We could use something that is typically a manufacturer and it's sent by the entity that sends uh, entity that sends reference values. We just need a term for it. You know, reference yeah. value provider or something like that would be an entity typically a manufacturer that provides reference values used in appraisal. Something like that would be what my pull request would say. And okay, and so again, it's typically the manufacturer, right? But not always. Just like endorsements are typically the manufacturer, but not always. Are you are you saying you would redefine? You would define another entity, another yep. role? Yep. Yep. And yes, which often is going to be the same role, but it does not have to be. So one reason it might not be the manufacturer is it might have bundled up multiple uh, reference. Sets right from different manufacturers and, and put we them don't, together. Yep. We don't think that the term endorser is broad enough, you know, so, you know, broad enough to be able to cover both no, our definition of endorsements and uh, reference values. No, because the point that I was making before is an endorsement is vouching for the signing capability. Basically, I understand. Just, I, understand I understand the difference and, between endorsement and reference okay. values. Right. But do we need another role? Why can't an endorser deliver, you know, both messages or one or the other? Because it's not necessarily the same person or same entity. No, but it's that generally the, you, you made, the you point made, is that it's generally we've defined it in such a way that it's general enough that it could do that. <clears throat> um, I think it confuses the verb endorse if we were to do that. Right now, endorse is used to be about endorsing the attester's signing capability. And I think what you're asking is, could we use endorse with a different meaning? Could endorse be to endorse reference values without endorsing the uh, attester's signing capability? And I'm saying, I would find that slightly more confusing. I agree it would be internally consistent. I think it is a less desirable state, but could I live with it? Yes, do I like it? No. <clears throat> yeah, I was going to suggest the same thing, but you know, some, whoever's providing those um, reference values, whether it's beforehand or actively as part of an attestation, you could imagine that they would need to have an endorsement with them to say that they're trustworthy, that they were signed by somebody and that you believe that signature. 
Right. All right. You're talking about the the the, the reference values being signed. Is the that reference true? values themselves. Yes. Okay. Yes. So that. So. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's different. That is. Uh, okay. Gotcha. I understand what you're saying, Peter. So my motivation is to not try and make drastic changes to, to the architecture at this point. Is uh, I think sorry. Go ahead. That's why that's why I would opt for just adding another sentence to the definition of endorsement so that both both in both, my opinion, both that's types a drastic change. There. In my opinion, that's a drastic change to the meaning. Uh, but it's not a drastic change to the diagrams and everything that's out there. That's because the diagrams don't show reference values. Uh, so um, I I want to suggest that maybe we could go on to other parts of this <laughs> request, and um, uh, and and then come back, circle round to this question. Um, what what I heard is that um, there was there was a soft objection to this sentence that you would rather put, do it some other way, but that it's better than what was there before. Um, and that Dave, if you were going to write that PR, you might, well, I might commit this one, but then you might then delete it and move it somewhere else. Well, this, no, 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 it's this is problem. saying, this it's is saying, problem. but this, this is going in the wrong direction, which is saying that the appraisal policy is where the reference values show up. Okay. So, um, well, Ned and Dave would be happier could. if we removed this part completely. Uh, It is not incorrect, but I would be happier if we removed it completely. Yes, but it was not incorrect as you had it. Yes. So that's what I was trying to get at is, is, is you don't feel like this is wrong, but um, it's just not the right thing. And you're going to proposing to write something that's better is what I heard you say before. Um, so. Okay. So, so that's why what I would like to do is commit this. And then, if appropriate, your pull request might remove it because it puts it somewhere else. But then we can more reasonably see, oh, yes, it's so much better if you put it over here. Remove this part, put mm -hmm. it over there. So if you ask me what I would like the best, um, what I would like the best is the red text with two changes to the red text. The first change is to change in forms to uh, direct so it matches line 140. And the second one is to keep the period at the end. That would be my ideal line 136, or sorry, 130, yeah. Your ideal, I'm is sorry. The red text with two changes. Yeah. So you're basically reverting a bunch of the changes that were made by Lawrence and stuff. Uh, there are two things that we've talked about that, would, that I think the red text could be fixed in. The first yep. one is the word informs, if you change that to direct, so then it matches line 140. I agree with the that. One is uh, add the period at the end of the computer compare security policy in forty nine forty nine. So basically, you'd have that, and just make making them almost yes, the yes. same. Yes, that would be my I, that would be my preferred uh, definition for this line. <clears throat> I would uh, 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 appraise the validity of information. I would be okay with that. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, sure because it doesn't include evidence. So I'm um, not sure. You, actually, you have a good point. I do not have a strong opinion there because I will note that line 140 is lacking in that regard. 140 is, however... It's how you appraise the attestation results. Uh, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's, it's applying the power. Yeah. Uh, but so, I, I like they don't have to be friendly suggestion, and we might change 140 as well for, here for Hank. The difference between the the, the uh, relying party is that he he is doing something that's application specific. Yes, true. Well, often. So we so we're right. So yeah. Um, it's okay. Uh, it's okay if we don't use the same word. In fact, I would prefer that we use the word appraise specifically as it relates to what a verifier does. Yes, 
Also, um, appraisal policy is hard to define with the term appraise, I just realized. Ah, okay. So, I think <laughs> so, uh, Ned prefers to keep line 40 as it was. I'm okay with Ned's argument, so just keep line 40 as it was. Okay. With a trailing period, too. Yeah, fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is uh, removal of a trailing period, so I'm deleting this. <laughs> Uh, shit, that's the wrong one. Delete. Okay. Uh, again. So I don't know why the word when is highlighted. Where are you looking? Here. Oh. Um, I don't know I don't know. either. But it's like uh, a goof. Like you skipped a comment. That was, was just a period. Period. Change, right. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All yeah. Right. Uh, this is just a period as well, but I, yeah. and then Hank wants to remove it, but I don't know why his change shows the word when highlighted. I think that's just wrong. I think it's just a goof in the diff. Um, so then here uh, we have a, tr oh no, we have more than just a trailing period, but but that is one thing. Remove Piece of asserted information often in the no that's it that's it that's yeah, only a trailing no. period no no it's not they it deleted the parentheses but i'm okay with that ah okay uh first sentence change that an endorser is fine with me um, the notion of implied claims is something that is a little obscure here, and the reader says, what's that? Yeah. I don't know what an implied claim is. So that's why I would remove that second sentence there, because it doesn't make sense without a whole paragraph or something to explain that in a definition. It needs somewhere else. It needs to say something about that if it's going to be. A... Yeah. Yeah. So I think what Lawrence means here is that uh, while the... Uh, a tester needs this for its evidence. It cannot provide this about it by itself. So some other entity is uh, attesting uh, for it, what Lawrence would say. Um, uh, so that is this implied uh, claim, I guess. Uh, I'm interpreting it as his intent to say, oh, and this is where you stick in reference values. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. See, and then it's ambiguous. Okay, no, then that's um, totally a no-go then. <laughs> okay, so uh whose help are required for verifiers to appraise the authenticity and, of evidence and hank wants to remove the trailing period which we're not doing yeah. and i mentioned at the top of this pr i disagree with the requirement sorry you can have a fully functional attestation system that does not use endorsements it is possible <clears throat> right if you're objecting to our required Correct. And this is why you prefer help to are required. There might be a better word than help, but. Uh, help, I need somebody. <laughs> I don't know if there's a better word than help, but the are required, I do object to. Typically is true, and it is required for scalability, but it's not required for correctness. The, the appraisal policy <laughs> will determine whether or not it's required. Yes, that's true. It really is an augmentation, you know, of the evidence. So if you say that the the uh, what's being attested to is is a claim about something, what the endorsement really is is a claim about that claim, yeah. and, and so that's where the the idea of helping it come, comes in, I think. So let me give you an example of where I say it's not required, just because I I mentioned this with uh, Lawrence, but since there's um, perhaps other people on the call now. Um, the endorsement is a case where an entity, typically the manufacturer, is vouching for the signing key of the attester. And so when you're using endorsements, that means that your verifier, when the evidence comes in, it says, hey, is it signed by a key that I trust? What I'm looking at my trust anchor for is I, I use the, the key that's in the evidence and I use the endorsement to say, is, this, is the key in the evidence signed by the manufacturer's key? And then is the manufacturer's key in my trust anchor store? If so, then, then the signature chain matches, right? Um, a far less scalable one, if I've only got three devices that are in the entire you know, chain of stuff that I'm ever going to use, then 
I could skip the middle step and just put all three of the attester's signing keys in my trust anchor store, store. And if I do that, I don't need the endorsement. It's just not scalable because I can't scale it out and I can't manage those keys if they get revved or as devices add. And so the endorsements give you the scalability. It doesn't give you the correctness. Right. right. So that's what I mean by it's not required. It's just typically used because everybody wants stuff to scale, right? Just, just add a layer of yeah, direction. Yeah. But if you have a deployment that's only ever going to have three devices, you could just stick those three keys. Once you've uh, vented the device through some out-of-band mechanism, your verifier might just stick those three keys in its trust anchor store. And you don't need endorsement because you only need that if the manufacturer's key is what's in your trust anchor store. Right. You've kind of front-loaded the endorsement at installation time, right? where you don't even pass the endorsement across, you don't even convey it, right? The verifier just doesn't use it in that case because it was done by the by the uh, admin at the time that they were configuring the trust anchor store. So anyway, that's the long reason is that required is not correct. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so the question is, would you like to um, try to change the word required? Would you like to undo this one Yes. Or what? Uh, I so, would undo this one, but keep the period. I'm open to other wording, but required doesn't belong. <clears throat> this is Lawrence's suggested yes. wording? Correct. <clears throat> so I'm guessing that with a, uh, uh, you know, a lot of the motivation that Lawrence is has is trying to trying to wedge in the reference value stuff. So if there's another role and another um, me message that we're adding to the architecture, we should do that first and then uh, there. get you know see see if see see if that addresses his concerns and then you know maybe so, back these so, out or something. So um, so. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've made a note. I'm going to I, I I'm going to say because we closed a couple of his, which are our last ones really, um, and say this is the disposition of these, um, and I'm going to say that we we acknowledge that the there's a better need for reference the word reference values in places, and that uh, that Dave had some idea of a backup here about what to do well dave um, and peter because i'm going to try to yeah, take all of peter's points into account and i know peter yeah, yeah i know but PR peter sounds well. like he doesn't he he can't take credit yeah. for things at this no, point no, no. he just yeah. can't author the pr right he can yeah. take yeah. Verbal yeah, yeah, i don't need i don't need credit for anything here <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that for my opinion. <laughs> but just, but just so i understand it, yeah. dave's proposal is to add another role and another message to the high level architecture diagram, right? That's where I'm leaning right now. I will think about your suggestion, Ned, to see when I'm actually authoring it, if I can think of a way to like not add another role, but that is where I'm leaning right now, yeah. I, I, I kind of believe that you really don't need to add a, a kind of a formal role. It just stated as a matter of fact that these things need to happen. I mean, I, I think it, okay. you, you've already got comments back about you know making something overly complicated where they don't think it needs to be and making it more complicated is not going to help that um, but the idea that uh, that we've been talking about I think can be conveyed without the changes to the diagrams so I think one of the things that Lawrence in particular was looking for is when we looked at that figure number one which is the one with the roles and the conceptual messages labeled as a reference architecture or whatever he was looking for somebody to answer sorry for some place in the text answer and where in this with the you know which line or whatever or which role or whatever is reference values in here i think that was his original question yeah so so if it's the line that is currently labeled endorsements is the line but we need to change the vocabulary that's reasonable as well i suppose at one point in time the early Early on, uh, the 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 Hank architecture had endorsements and reference values on that line. I remember yeah. right. So it's uh, yeah, it's exactly. should we have another line or should we overload this line? Given that at least Peter and I agree that endorsements and reference values are two 
different things that you could have for, uh, reference those that are provided without an endorsement in terms of endorsing the signing key, or should it be combined into that? I think is the question, right? Yeah. So this oh, is thing, if, I would be very gonna... careful in adding another box. I am okay with adding something to the error and therefore using the quite biased word overloading this. I think it enhances it. And uh, then, <laughs> then again, I'm not married to this. So um, I'm, I'm open for this must be another box. Okay. Are there people yeah, that I, I strongly... believe that if you're going to add that into the diagram, it needs to be another box. That's where I'm leaning. That's what I was going to say. Is, is there people that would object? Does anybody have a strong negative reaction to adding another box? Because that is where I'm leaning. I have a strong objection with saying the other box is something else in an endorser. Because from semantically, only because it really endorser and endorsements unfortunately have the same syntactic notation. But endorser most certainly semantically includes the producer of reference values. It's just another endorser. Say what? Just use that. So, no, no, no. Now we're not in agreement. No, no, I disagree with that totally because an endorser, an endorsement in general is basically increasing the trustworthiness of something. And yes. a reference value is the something that needs to have its trustworthiness increased. Yes. So, so there a may be an endorsement value. associated with a, a reference value, but it's not an endorsement in itself. Yeah. All right. So, Michael, if you want to keep going, I don't know if there's anything else in there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and generate a pull request. It might not be today, but it'll be before the next time that we meet, and I don't want to say whether it's next week or two weeks or whatever. And I think Peter and I will be aligned on it, and you can beat it up then. Okay, so so great. Um, the question I discussed at, at the beginning of the meeting, and I don't think everyone was here yet, was uh, there's a conflict with an interim meeting next Tuesday. I'm happy to either pick a different day next week or not meet at all next week, um, depending on people's schedules and, and whatever. Um, so yeah. tell me what you want to do. Um, I, I'm okay with missing it. I had a conflict as well. I was going to miss yeah. it anyway. Yeah. So let's let's go for two weeks from now then. Okay. So we'll go for two weeks from now. I don't know how to make this diagram pretty, but mm -hmm. I don't know what's in this box. I I, I heard stuff, but uh, I didn't hear what was in that box. Uh, over I here. will fill it in right now. My tentative term is um, reference value provider. Uh, again, I, I can follow up with Peter across email if, if you have any other wording suggestions and stuff, but I'll yeah, offer so it. The, the only problem I have with reference value is it might be yeah. something else besides a reference value itself. It's it's yeah. information that is, is very pertinent to um, yeah. evaluating a primary claim about the a tester. No, I, I'm with you. Let's see if we can brainstorm over email if we have a better name for it. But um, I think you and I are saying exactly the same things. So yeah, I'll be available all this week so I can respond okay. to email. And, and and you don't have any. You, you can't offer PRs, but you have no problem sending emails on the topic, correct? Correct. Okay, great. I'll. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll I don't I'll, make the rules. I just follow them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, Peter. Okay. Um, all right. Well, um, we'll come up with a better term. Hopefully, it's not that one, but we'll see what we can. Yeah. So. And it has reference values. So, uh, yeah, you guys, <clears throat> I, this is a nice program, so, but it doesn't let me move uh, everything so, to the so right. There's, what program you're there, using? There's a, it's there's called ASCIO. It's actually written in Perl completely. ASCIO? ASCIO. I want it. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's like, it, it's, it, the only problem is it doesn't have a command line interface, so I can't put it in a make file. I have to go into it and then say save as text. So, um, okay. <clears throat> So just quickly, um, when you define reference values, consider yep. if they are claims that don't necessarily have to have a corresponding claim and evidence. Uh, I don't consider them to be claims. This is weird. Did we define uh, yeah, it? It's more something you're going to compare a claim again. A claim, a claim is very much tied to the attestation itself. Um, uh, our definition doesn't, in, our in definition, market. but our definition doesn't say that it has to be tied to an attestation. Well, what's our definition of claim? Can you a piece of asserted information often in the form of a name value pair. It doesn't, and it's specifically not trying to associate a role with the no, definition. Uh, asserted. Asserted. That it is something that you have to uh, evaluate whether you trust it, right? That's what yeah, that's asserted right. means. But the, the, and the I, reference I value is something you take. 
I know, um, but the reference but, value is something you don't uh, you don't um, have to evaluate. It's something that you accept as the the uh, truth. No, 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 no. no, no, no. They're very interesting. It's tied to the signature, so I think that's a that's a very strong argument. I think, yeah. because yeah. otherwise you don't have to sign evidence. You know, um, I don't think okay. that's. I see that, your that, point, Hank. Okay. okay, I understand how you read it. Okay, I get that, Hank. Thank you. Okay, but it's not trying to associate the def. Our current definition is not trying to associate a role with the, with that definition. It's just so you're saying, saying hey, Ned, are you saying you would like it to use the word claim somewhere if we were to define it? I'm my, I'm saying claim is defined in such a way that it could show up as uh, as evidence. It could also show up as reference values, and it could also show up as something that I'm not sure if it fits the definition of reference value, which is a you know a, a manufacturer could could simply make an assertion or make a claim about some property that exists okay. for which there is no corresponding evidence. I, I disagree with that. Uh, I mean, a, a claim is about uh, something that needs to be validated to say that the uh, attestation was correct. And the reference value is really an input into the decision of is that attestation claim I, I understand. I understand that you have a narrower definition of the word claim, but the architecture doesn't have that narrow of a definition and your definition is not incorrect but it's it's just i think if you, overly if you narrow. include reference value with uh, if sure. if you conflate the, those two ideas um then what you do is you confuse the whole notion of no no uh, no, no, no no the container has the semantics the container is the evidence or the reference values container whatever that is and um and, and 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 both contain claims to compare the reference value claims with the evidence claims. Claims is not has not semantics in the context here. It's just a assertion made by an endorser used for the reference values, or an assertion created by the attester used for its evidence. Uh, that that's the the the, the common uh, semantics of claim. It's very very broad, I think. So. so I would say, you know, we have time to talk about it here, but yeah. if let's, we need to get, we need to get agreement on these really foundational terms. Otherwise we're going to talk past each other. Yeah. Yes. I mean, right. the way I would look at, you know, what, what Hank just said is that that changes appraisal from this idea of verifying claims to adjudication of, of balancing competing claims to see which is correct. And that's okay. Right. All right. And I, and I don't think that's what attestation really is. The, you know, the verifier is looking at evidence presented. In, in my mm -hmm. terminology, it would be a claim or a set of claims, and uh, making a decision that says, yes, I've evaluated that evidence, and it is either okay or not okay, according to some set of rules that I take as fact. Okay. I don't think that disagrees with, with what we're saying. Anyway, we don't have time. I've got to go to another meeting. Okay. So yeah, totally. maybe, the, uh, uh, maybe the pull request helps. Uh, if you can see something more tangible, I think the discussion is a little bit more guided. And yeah. Dave, I, thought, I think you, we, will, we will see this, this help create, created uh, soon. And that would be really helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Well, within the next two weeks, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we can I, I gotta go to another meeting. I, beforehand uh, I have another meeting at eight o'clock, so I gotta drop. Yeah, all right, sure. thank you again, all. Uh, Dave, 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 so the, the conclusion is that we're not gonna do anything with this one right now. Uh, finish it. Um, Dave is gonna propose some things, and I'm gonna follow up to the list and Lawrence to say that we understand and we're thinking of changing the diagram, maybe like this, and uh, sure. that we're resuming in two weeks. Yep, sounds good. All right, wonderful. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Bye, guys. everybody.